Hello, my name is Jason Chanko and I'm an applications engineer here at Siglent Technologies. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use an oscilloscope as a trigger discriminator and how to use it to synchronize external triggers to other measurement instrumentation. In this particular example, I'm going to use the Siglent SDS1202X-E oscilloscope. That is a two-channel oscilloscope with an external trigger input. That external trigger input is going to help us because it acts like it, or it can be configured to work just like any of the other channels on the oscilloscope through the trigger model. So I'm going to go uh, set up trigger, take a look at edge, slope, pulse, video, window. So it has all of the normal trigger types that a normal ch oscilloscope channel has. It's just going to be external and it's not going to plot it on the display. So we're not going to actually see anything on the display itself. But that's okay, that's okay. Actually, we want to use that. So it's basically a third channel for the oscilloscope. It's just not plotted. And that frees us up to take a look at digitizing or collecting the data on channel one and channel two. The oscilloscope is then going to have its external trigger connected to this digital multimeter. This is the SDM3045X. So the oscilloscope's going to trigger, measure on channel one and channel two, and simultaneously send a trigger output to the, uh, uh, to the multimeter so that it can make a DC or, I'm sorry, an AC voltage measurement. And all of those are going to be synchronized. I'm using the SDG1032X waveform generator simply to create that external burst. I'm going to manually control that by pressing this trigger button here. When I press the trigger button, a signal is going to go to the external trigger that's going to meet the particular trigger configuration that I have set for the oscilloscope. It's going to then measure these two channels on the scope as well as cause the update uh, reading on the voltmeter. And you can see that right now pressing the trigger. So the yellow trace is channel one. You'll see when I have a square wave, that's coming off of a demo board that I have here. Uh, and then we're measuring the actual trigger output from the, from the back of the oscilloscope. You can get an idea of some of the delay here. So here is our trigger point, and we're at 200 nanoseconds per division, so that's 200 nanoseconds. So we're at about, uh, I'd say about 350, maybe 375, uh, 375 nanoseconds of delay. So that is something that you're going to want to keep in mind when you're making those measurements. But I'll, I'll perform that again. Pressing the trigger button, you'll see we actually get external trigger here. And you can see that indicated by the trigger, uh, the trigger indication up at the top of the screen here on the scope. And as we go over to the multimeter, you can also see that we are uh, getting its external trigger. So it is also triggering and making a measurement. So you can synchronize a lot of instrumentation using that external bus. If you have any further questions, please contact your local Siglin office. Thank you. Have a great day.